Okay, I uh, just got my uh, $30 AliExpress uh, uh, oscilloscope. <laughs> Uh, and what I want to do is test my $100 pure sine wave uh, inverter, uh, 1500 watt inverter, that I also got from AliExpress, uh, just to kind of prove that it actually produces the pure sine wave uh, that I need. Um, so my, I have some plans to try and use it as a backup in the event of a power outage. I do have a few utility batteries I want to try and hook up to it and maybe try and run a fridge or... Uh, even possibly run my furnace if I want to, uh, just for, you know, short periods. Um, maybe couple that with uh, some solar panels in the future and and uh, just try to create a little backup uh, power supply if I need it. Anyways, I will show you what I've got. So we, we will start with my um, $100 uh, quote-unquote pure sine wave inverter. Uh, that I got from AliExpress. Uh, so this thing, if we go, I've got it hooked to my little, uh, you know, booster pack, so to speak. Um, so when that is 12 volts in, these, those are the connections right there. Um, so it, they, they claim that it is a pure sine wave. So I'd like to see uh, exactly, exactly what kind of quality. My biggest concern is that, that it's not a square wave and I'll try and show you an example of that. Anyway, so, a little bit about my setup. So um, I've just got, you know, just kind of a cheesy little wire. I've got some uh, some Marette terminals. Uh, and so that 120 volt AC runs into a doorbell transformer. Uh, this doorbell transformer, I've done a little bit of testing. So if it gets 120 volts AC on the line side, the load side actually will put out about 20 volts AC. So it's not too expensive. I think these are about $20 at the hardware store, uh, maybe less, depending on where you go. Anyways, I've, I've already tested this just to make sure. But anyway, so from there, uh, on the uh, output side of this transformer, it's just two small ter terminals. And from there, I am running it to this little bad boy right here. Um, so this, uh, this is about $30 from AliExpress, it took me about a month and a half to get it, but uh, it's, it's kind of cool for what it is. Anyways, um, so what's kind of cool about this is there's actually a, a test function. Um, so if I take the terminals, if I take these terminals, and there's a tab on top, I can actually just... Hands. So it actually has a test function. Uh, so now I've got that set to one volt. I need to just set my time a little bit differently. So I think you can see it's test output. It does create a nice little square wave uh, just to kind of test that it's actually working. So um, you can change the trigger. different options there I'm just gonna keep it on auto um, you can test or change the, the voltage range um, so for this uh, for the test pulse here uh, I just leave it set at one volt but anyways I know it works so, so this square wave it is, is exactly what I don't want to see out of uh, this pure sine wave inverter uh, the square wave is uh, it will run uh, certain items, certain appliances that you plug into it, um, but anything that relies on, on having AC, basically anything with a motor, um, it can actually, uh, it can do some long-term damage to it, cause excessive heat buildup, um, causes everything to run really loud, can, can actually put some um, harmonics uh, through some of the motors and that can damage it long-term. So something like this would be no good for uh, a fridge or a furnace or power tools or anything like that. Uh, that uh, this is this is good for anything that is going to basically convert uh, AC power back to direct current. So this is good for laptop chargers, phone chargers, uh, things like that. But nothing nothing really that requires uh, a nice sine wave. 
Anyway, so I will get this hooked backed up and then we will mess around with the settings and we will test this inverter to see what kind of square wave we get. Or hopefully we don't get a square wave, hopefully we get a nice sine wave. Like it shows right there. All right, so this thing's ready to go. Let's give it a shot here. Uh, I'm just gonna turn this thing on and see what we get. All right, so we got it all set up. Um, I've just uh, played with a few settings so we can we can actually play around and we can get some finer detail on this sine wave. Anyways, we'll follow it back here again. So here's my lead to my doorbell transformer, which again, its output is about 20 volts AC. Uh, and then from there, I've just got it kind of roughly connected to this wire, the AC wire that I made. So we are going to turn the power on. So this inverter does have voltage, uh, like a voltage detection on it, which 12.0, 11.9 is probably right. I don't think my booster pack is all that well charged. Anyways, we'll come back to there. Look at that. We have a decent sine wave. So I'm just gonna change a few settings so you can see how it's adjustable. And that looks like a pretty clean sine wave. I'm actually pretty impressed. Uh, so, you know, if we if we get right in there, you know, there's a little bit of a ripple on there, but I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Uh, the frequency, again, I'm going to take this with a grain of salt. There could be some variation in the frequency here. I'm seeing jumping between 59 and 63 hertz. Um, but, you know, this thing was $30. I'm not sure how accurate it was. Um, but gives you an idea of all the different voltages. Um, so I had to use this little doorbell transformer because the maximum input voltage on this oscilloscope is about 50 volts. Um, and I just didn't want to take any chances in blowing it up. So I just, I, I'm lucky I had that laying around, but anyways, kind of, kind of see my whole setup here again with all the other junk in my garage. Anyways, that's it. So I don't know if that explained anything about how the inverter worked, what it was doing with the oscilloscope, but that's basically what I was testing. I uh, just wanted to make sure that the uh, oscilloscope uh, was going to read that uh, frequency correctly and that the inverter was actually producing a half decent frequency. So I wouldn't be afraid to to plug any appliance into that, uh, maybe with some better batteries, uh, something a little more stable. The low voltage sometimes can do goofy things with the inverters, um, but I I would be pretty happy with that for the most part. Anyways, that's kind of what I was doing.